Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today for the first in a series called How to Make Brown Eyes Pop. Yes, that's right. As those of you who followed my channel may know, I used to wear blue contacts, but due to health reasons of them ripping in my eyes, I gave up the blue contacts and I've come back to my natural brown eyes. I never did like brown eyes on me because I felt like they were kind of boring and blah. I guess a lot of people think that of their own eye color. I always wanted blue, but I've decided to go with what God gave me and I'm finding that there are a lot of different shadow colors that can make brown eyes look their best. And today I'll be showing you a look from this Emily Needs palette. Love this palette. And I'm sure most all of you know Emily Noel and I'll link her channel below. Absolutely love this palette. It has beautiful vivid colors and it's called the wants because it seems to have all the colors we could ever want and many of these colors just help brown eyes look their best and today i'll be using this little purple color called family and so let me take off my eye makeup and i'll show you how i did it okay we're up close and personal and i'm going to be taking this emily edit revolution palette and these are fabulous colors look at that absolutely beautiful anything you would ever want I think that's why they call it the wants. Ha, surprise, surprise. Very, very simple look. We're just going to take this purple shadow and go all over the eyelid with a nice little flat eyeshadow brush. And I did use a primer. It's very important to use a primer if you want your colors to look their best and to stay on all day. I used the Smashbox Lid Primer and I'll link it below. Absolutely love that one because not only does it cause your shadows to last all day, but it comes in a tube and it almost looks like a concealer. And so it gives you a nice flat color base on your lids, kind of a nice light color. There we go. And I like these shadows. There's not a lot of fallout, but yet they're very intense as you can tell. So I have the purple shadow on. Now I'm just going to take the same brush, dip it in the shadow again. Then I'm just going to pull it a little bit along the underneath of the, the under brow there. Just going to give it a little pull, just to kind of give yourself a little purple halo, a little more dramatic. Dip in again, tap off. This is a very vivid color, but I wore it yesterday and it ends up looking rather neutral on your eye, almost like a purpley brown, which as you know, I love brown eyeshadow colors. But now that I'm trying to dress up my brown eyes, I want something with a little bit of pop, a little bit of contrast. Just pull that out a little more, especially in the outer third, I would say. Now to strengthen the crease, I'm going to be using this little Sigma brush. It has a little triangular point on the top. I can't see the number because I don't have my contacts in, but I will link it below and it is fabulous for your crease. It's absolutely a perfect detailed crease brush. That's the only point for this brush and it does it beautifully. And again, get more on the outer third just a little bit on the inner part of the crease to cover that fat pad that we all get. Now let's just take the Sigma E40 and just go along and blend, just blend the top of that right along there. I'm going to do that here too, just to kind of soften those edges. Now we're just going to take a little bit of this beigey color here called Oh Heavens, and we're just going to put a little bit of that underneath the brow bone, just a little. Just kind of accent that area there. Then I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Shader Brush and dip into the purple color again. That color is called Family, which is pretty darn important to all of us. And families do come in all shapes and sizes, but they are wonderful. Other side. And you want to go clear into the inside. Nice little eyeliner there. And then I'm going to blend that in one last time because this is a very intense color. Just right along the top there, right along the little outer V. Very good. Now I'm going to take this little purple eyeliner and this is a great set of eyeliners. I love these, I have them in many colors. This is the Pure On Point and it's called On Point because as you are unscrewing the top, it actually creates a brand new point for you, which is just great. Go along the top here with this purple liner and it just blends in nicely but it does give you a nice defined lash line. If you have any little white spots make sure to cover those in. There's that eye. And 
And then you just kind of pull out the outer edges. We're not going to do a wing. My grandmother always said these were happy eyes. And I particularly like this pure self-sharpening eyeliner because it gives you a wonderful little tip each time that enables you to make that perfect line all across. So the eyeliner is done and I'll be applying my mascara off camera. So that's a look at the completed eyes and I did use an eyelash curler and I use this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, which I really do like this mascara. It's one I started out my channel with a couple of years ago. I fell away from it. I got into some more clumpy ones. And this is a great mascara if you want long to find lashes but no clumps. Absolutely a beautiful mascara. Well, that was a look at a purple shadow scheme that will make your brown eyes pop. Really like that one. Okay, let's go ahead and read this little positive thinking card. This is from the Gabriel Bernstein Miracles Now card deck. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Ooh, I love this. I surrender my desires and I know the universe has my back. I surrender my desires and I know the universe has my back. You know, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I absolutely love this card because sometimes we all get our to-do list of everything that we want to happen for ourselves and for our family and for everyone in our lives. Sometimes it's better to say, God, you know what I need and my family needs and those around me need in our lives. I'll show up, I'll suit up, I'll do my best, but let's leave it to God and the universe to fulfill our lives in the perfect way. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.